What's going on, y'all? Welcome to The Single Guy channel. My name's Lloyd. I am not The Single Guy. Today, we're gonna talk about a subject that if you look at the title, is something that might catch your eye, and that's that men are having less sex than ever before, okay? I don't know if they're having less sex than ever recorded in history, but one could make that argument because uh, the population is the highest it's ever been. But definitely, if you look at the data, men are having less sex, especially when you look at the last decade. If you look at some of the stats, and some of them, some people are talking about this, most people are kind of ignoring it, to be honest with you, and that's the number of 18 to 29-year-olds um, who are, have not had sex in the past year has doubled. Now, where is this doubling coming from? Well, if you look at the numbers, it's pretty obvious. And that's the number of men under 30 that have not had sex in the last year has tripled. Okay, so clearly this increase is coming from men. In fact, if we look at the charts right here, we can take a look that the share of men and women between the ages of 18 and 30 reporting no sex in the past year, men is at 28%, women is at 18%. So there's been a slight increase for women, but not very much. Uh, and in fact, if you look at the increase since 2008, men has just kind of skyrocketed up, okay? So that's sex in the past year, but it gets even worse. If you look at the men who have not had sex at all since the age of 18, or as male virginity as they call it, it goes from 8% to 27%. So we've seen a sharp increase, and this is all pre-pandemic data. This is back in 2018, you guys. You know, so the number's probably gotten way higher since the pandemic. I don't have the specific numbers on it. Those haven't come out yet, but uh, once I find them, uh, I will give them to you for sure. So men are having less sex uh, than ever before, certainly in the last decade, certainly uh, for as long as these numbers have been recorded for. I don't know for certain for the entire, uh, you know, for the entire world history, but uh, they're not looking good right now. And a lot of times when news programs talk about this, you see them laugh, you see them make make fun, you see all oh, these guys just need to get up and like get, you know, like stop being losers or whatever. Nobody really is actually addressing the issues. Okay, so I'm gonna talk about what those are. I'm gonna talk about some economic factors that I've seen uh, that come into play here. Uh, I've seen things with my clients. This is the, one of the biggest things that I am out here trying to solve because if it comes to your friends and family in the media, you, if you're watching this video, you probably noticed that not a lot of people are trying to help you out. Okay, I'm trying to help you out. And I'm trying to help you out because I went through this process too. When you're feeling like you're not wanted and you feel like nobody like uh, like wants to, not, not even just sleep with you, nobody wants to like be with you at all, um, it can be very frustrating. And it can actually be deadly, you know? Um, this is kind of a, a dark thing that I'm about to tell you guys, but when I went to college, I went to UC Santa Barbara, there was actually a guy who literally shot up the school because he wasn't getting laid. 100%, you can look up the news stories, it was around everywhere, he killed a lot of people, all right? I knew some of the people he murdered. I'd hung out with them, I'd spend time with them. It was a very shocking thing that happened at the school. Now, as soon as this came out, they all blamed toxic masculinity, they all said men need to fall in line and figure out how to treat women. Nobody actually addressed the cause. Just telling people to not be bad doesn't cure bad people. You have to look at the causes behind it. And the truth is, this is gonna be something that's tough for me to say, I understood why he did it. I am not saying he should have done what he did. It, what he did was a horrible thing, and like I said, he killed people that I knew and liked very much. They deserved to have a full life. They deserved to, to go for happiness. It was very, very sad what happened. It actually took me some, it took me a little bit of time to recover from you know, having something that real happen in my life and was one of the biggest motivating factors uh, for me starting this channel and me starting this business because I didn't want another guy like that to be created. All right, when you have people going around that are frustrated, that are angry, okay, you have to look at the extreme examples about why people do things. You can just say, hey, he's just a crazy person and not look at the causes and lo and behold, it happens again. We have this whole incel movement going on where people are almost proud of it and no one's really actually asking the question about why this is happening. Okay, and nobody's coming up with solutions. I'm one of the only people that I know that has started something that can actually help these guys out. And that's what this whole channel is. It's answering questions, it's giving you practical advice, it's not blaming people. 
So, because usually what happens is guys will go out in the world and they'll just, they won't get results. They, women won't like them. They get angry, they get bitter, they get frustrated. And so then they start turning to like toxic things. They start turning to frustrated and angry behavior. And that's very understandable because I was one of those people too. When I was in college, I felt like no woman wanted me. I felt like I was a person that people despise. I felt, and I hated myself again and again. And so although I never did anything that drastic to hurt somebody, I understood why he ended up doing what he did. And I never wanted anyone like that to be created ever again. And so that's why I'm talking about the things that I'm talking about. So what caused this? Well, if you look at what people are going through, what men are going through when they grow up, a lot of it is not actually helping them be attractive to women. A lot of them is not actually making them into someone that women actually want to go for or sleep with or date. So we have the two, we have the two camps. We have like uh, in school where you're taught to learn a lot of permission seeking behaviors, but you're not really taught a whole lot of masculine behaviors. And in fact, if you show masculine behaviors, they punish them. And some masculine behaviors should rightfully be punished. Okay. You know, violence, things like that. You know, we can't have, uh, those things, but not standing up for yourself and not being, uh, not allowing you to express yourself, which they kill in schools, which your parents will kill because you don't want to get in trouble. Uh, that stuff does not help you get women. That stuff does not allow you to express it, express yourself. So when people grow up in a society where all of their natural instincts are suppressed, what ends up happening is they turn to more extreme things to get the results that they want. And that's where the toxic masculinity comes from. They are not taught positive masculinity. They are not taught things that actually make them better and more useful and, um, and loving and caring for other people and strong confidence like that those are the kinds of things that you're going to need to learn if you want to be attractive to women okay yes women like a vulnerable guy but if you're a vulnerable guy with no strength no responsibility no skill in life dude you're just a, a, a whiny little girl and she's not interested in a whiny little girl so those are the things that i think are the big reasons about why a lot of guys are left to the curb because they don't learn this stuff and in fact the people that try and teach this stuff are actually silenced and they're they're you know it's not like they're not doing a good thing there's just not a whole lot of movement going after that sort of stuff. So if you're a guy who's in this position, just know that it's okay to be in this position and not be doing well because you're not alone. You know, you're going to experience pain and that's all right. You weren't taught these things and that's not your fault. So if you're coming out of this and you're feeling helpless and you're feeling like you're, this is you know, just no one's helping you out, that's okay because a lot of other people feel like that too. But I'm here to help you out and I'm here to give you the tools that are necessary to basically make your life better. Now, I can't give you everything in just videos. You're going to have to explore this yourself, but start by being kind to yourself. Start, start by not judging yourself too much when you log on, you know, hinge and you swipe a bunch and you never get any matches. Or when you go outside and you try and ask a girl out and she says she's got a boyfriend or she turns her nose up or just completely ignores you. Believe it or not, that's the norm when most guys go out and they try and that's okay. What you have to understand is you can't judge yourselves by the guys who are like at the top. If you judge yourself by the guys who are at the top, which I did for years, you're going to hate your life. You're going to feel like a you know complete loser who doesn't, who, who can't accomplish anything. And then you're going to turn to some very dark things and get frustrated and start hating yourself, hating women, hating the whole world. And uh, you know, that's where I was for a very long time. And I don't want that for you. So if you're coming through that, first of all, be kind to yourself, know that you're going to experience pain, understand that men get better with age. You will get better as time goes on. As you learn things, as you go through life, as you have painful experiences and rejection, that that makes you stronger as a person. And although it might seem like it's unfair at times because if you know if a, a woman logs on Tinder or, or a dating app or something like that, she can get tons of matches, she can get tons of sex. A lot of times, once you get that, that's not really what they're looking for, okay? They're looking, a lot of women are looking for commitment, a lot of women are looking for love, and, and that's the stuff that they have trouble getting a lot of times. So just know that even if you're in this position and you're comparing yourself to other people or women, like you're not thinking about it correctly, okay? Compare yourself to your peers, compare yourself to yourself. Don't look for other things for, uh, for reasons to validate yourself. Because if you look for the media, you look to your friends and family, honestly, they're probably not gonna help you out. They're probably gonna make your life harder. All right. I know this because I did, I did it for years. You have to look at select resources that are giving you positive encouragement, that are actually giving you practical steps that you can take to improve your life because everything else will exploit your pain. Everybody else will exploit your frustrations and they will try to not help you out. Okay. They will try and suppress them. And, um, you know, if you're going through life feeling like that, feeling like a loser, just be kind to yourself and work at it bit by bit. Don't judge yourself based on where you are now, but where you could be in the future. And, Give yourself time because men take time to grow, but once they grow, they end up becoming, you know, 
the sky's the limit. The sky's the limit for how far you can go. And uh, luckily for us that we have a little bit more time to do that. So um, if you're watching this video and you're a guy, or if you're a woman and you're watching this video, uh, hopefully you've seen kind of like the, uh, you know, a, a dark side into the side of men, uh, why there are so, men are so many men are frustrated. And it might seem, you know, kind of surprising to some people, but usually when people are thinking about people, they usually think about the top one or two percent, and they're like, why are, you know, why are, why do women have dating problems? Because they're looking at the hottest girls on Instagram or whatever. Or why do men have dating problems? Because they're looking at, you know, the richest and best looking guys. You know, think about your everyday person, and when you start to sympathize with them, um, you will feel a lot better about the situation and a lot more empathetic. That's why I started this channel, is because I wanted to remove uh, a lot of those people, not remove a lot of those people, I wanted to remove those negative thoughts that um, a lot of guys have and help them out, you know, get, get you results. Honestly, get you laid, you know? More sex in the world means a better place for me. And, uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm happy to help contribute to that. So thanks a lot, you guys. If you made it to the end and you want to get coached by me personally, there's forms down below. I'd recommend you sign up for my mailing list if you want to get interested in this stuff uh, and learn more and get more help. Um, I do free trainings. I do all that stuff. So um, that's all there for you guys. Thanks a lot. Good luck out there.